beauties, it's Carissa and today we're going to be doing a DIY video and I'm super excited because I based my channel originally off of DIYs and I haven't done one for a while and this DIY is probably one of my favorites that I've done. It's just this simple patchwork flannel sweatshirt and I'm wearing one right now and it's super cute and it's super simple to make. To make this all you really need is a sweatshirt and it can be a hoodie, it can be a zip up, it can be a regular top and a flannel and I can't stress how easy this DIY is especially for someone who's just starting to sew this is super fun to try especially since like Christmas is next month and you can make like flannel Christmas hoodies for yourself if you want to and if you're someone who can't sew and you like really want a sweatshirt I'm selling mine that you see now and the one I'm going to make on my Etsy and Depop so definitely go check that out if you're someone who can't sew so these are the items that I'm going to be using, just this pink zip up hoodie and this flannel. And the only thing that's bad about this flannel is that it's cropped, so you definitely want to make sure that you get a flannel that is this, almost a size or bigger of your sweatshirt. It's just a lot easier because now I'm going to have to probably do some extra sewing. So we're going to start with this sweatshirt and all you're going to do is mark two lines on your shoulder all the way down straight to the bottom. So here's my line. I'm not sure if you can see it because it is kind of light, but I'm just going to copy this line onto this side. So I have both my lines already drawn, and the next step is just using your scissors, and you're going to cut both sides all the way down, but you're going to keep this little section here. And then when you get up to this little section, you want to do it separately than the rest. You want to make sure that you don't cut into your waistband just because it looks a lot better when you sew the flannel into the waistband. So you're gonna repeat this on both sides. So this is what it should look like after. I know it looks super weird, but we're gonna add the flannel to this part that's cut out. So now you should place your flannel down and try to make it as flat as possible. So that way when you're cutting, you make no mistakes. Then you're gonna take one of your sleeves from the sweatshirt that you just cut and lay it on top. That way you can kind of see how long it should be and how thick the part you're supposed to cut out is supposed to be. I honestly like to just cut as much as I like off because I like to have the sleeve kind of hang off the shoulder. I'm going to cut more in the middle over here. And the best part about cutting this is that it already has lines on it that you can cut out yourself. So I'm just going to follow this line all the way up on both sides because it's supposed to be even. I was thinking that I might do something with the flowers so that way I can kind of keep this beautiful design. And then this is what it looks like after you cut it. It looks so funny, I know, but you're going to be using these sleeves for the sweatshirt. So here's the sweatshirt, and this is what it should look like together. You see how it kind of like fits in with it? Except yours would probably reach the bottom here. So I'm probably going to have to sew extra on right now to make sure it fits, and then I'll show you how to pin it right after. Guys, you will not believe this. I was sewing and I hit one of my buttons. I don't know if you can see it, but my button like broke. Now I have to take it out and put a new one on. This is like literally crazy. And somehow my needle didn't break. I don't know how, but like, thank gosh. Also, sorry if this looks a little crooked. Like I tried making it not crooked, but it looks like so crooked to me. So now the next part is like super, super simple. All you're gonna do is pin each one inside out. So. This sleeve belongs to this one, so we're gonna put it inside out. We're gonna put this inside out. So you have to keep both pieces inside out, and we're gonna pin it starting with the shoulder seam, and we're gonna pin all of the way down. You can do whatever seam allowance you want. I'm probably just gonna do like a quarter inch to like a half an inch, and just keep pinning it. So that way when you sew it, you can sew it super quick. And you're gonna do this to both sides. And if your material stretches, make sure that you don't stretch it when you're pinning, just because it's not gonna come out right when you sew it. And then we're gonna move on to the front. Don't pin the bottom either where this elastic is, just cause you're gonna do that after you sew it. It's a lot easier that way. And this is what it looks like pinned inside out right now. So I'm gonna finish this side and then show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like all pinned. As you can see, it literally looks like the sections that you cut out. See the pinning is right here and right here and the same on the next side. And don't forget, don't pin along here. This is gonna be last. And if you pinned it and you have a lot, like different size extra fabric on the bottom, 
don't worry about it that happens to me all the time we'll deal with that when we're done all you have to do is stitch along the cut line so that the fabric are sewn together so I'm gonna do that and then come right back so this is what it should look like after you finish sewing it I did also a zigzag stitch along the edges just so it doesn't fray because my overlock machine isn't set up. If you have an overlock machine, definitely use that, but if you don't, a zigzag stitch works just as good. And ignore all these random white threads, my sewing machine kept breaking. The last part is doing this section right here. You're just going to pin it together and obviously you can see that this is bigger than the room over here what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch it while you pin it so that way it can kind of like gather together so it creates a little gather on the bottom part make sure you're doing this with your fabric inside out it's a lot easier to pin it that way so i pinned it and now i'm going to stretch the fabric out and then pin again so when you stitch this part you're going to want to Pull your fabric like this and stitch it that way you get all the fabric so this is what the sweatshirt looks complete it took me such a long time to record and sew it so i decided to show you what it looks like the next day just because it's a lot brighter and it came out really cute i really love the colors and the design of it so this is what the top looks like up close i wanted to show you like the floral detail i added i took the flowers from this top and i sewed it onto the sweatshirt and I really like the opposite like effect it gives it because it makes the flowers stand out so much more. If you guys wind up doing this DIY and following my tutorial, I would love to see what you guys make. So definitely tag me on TikTok, Instagram, or even YouTube so I can see what you guys create. And if you like this top, I'm selling it on my Depop and Etsy. But sadly, the top that I showed you before sold out. But I do have another Disney one if you like this design. If you like this video and want to learn other DIYs or sustainable outfit inspo, definitely like and follow my channel because I'll be doing a lot more DIYs.